Lately, I felt a bit overwhelmed. I was thinking a lot, I was doubting on myself, and frankly, felt a bit lost in life. But I had a plan. I booked an Airbnb for seven days in the middle of nowhere, packed my bags, bought groceries for the week, and hit the road. And once I arrived, the place was incredible. There was a lake, and I could go for walks, or sit on cute little benches, and also the inside was lovely. There was a fireplace, a cute bed, a nice little kitchen, and after unpacking, which for some reason I was trying to do in one go, I made my comfort food, which is pasta with pesto, tomato, and mozzarella. And while I cleaned the kitchen, I wondered how it would be to spend seven days all by myself in the woods, and if this would actually help me to become a bit more clear and a bit less lost. And after I actually headed to bed, quite early, which I think shows how much I really needed to slow down. So, over there is the house and around me is basically woods, you know? So here we have the wood, there, and here, and here I came from walking, and there's the house again. <laughs> and I'm gonna be stuck here for the next seven days, basically just me, the books, journal, and you watching. And I'm enjoying this so much. But there was a little problem. No, I didn't fall into the water, even though it was pretty difficult to get out of that boat. But I couldn't really slow down. I kept reading and thinking and journaling and was confronted by pretty much all insecurities I had. And as I noticed that I kept reading and talking to the camera just to escape from those thoughts, I decided that the next day I would not be allowed to read, I would not be allowed to talk to the camera and have a day of complete silence. I think I had a very valuable insight for me. There's a story of a lumberjack. He comes to work, it's his first day, and he really gives everything. So he tries to chop woods and chop woods, and at the end of the day, he's able to cut down 19 trees. And the boss is very excited. Yeah, man, you're great. Uh, a lot of appreciation. So the lumberjack is very happy, but he says the next day, I'm gonna cut down even more trees. So he comes the next day and puts even more effort. He works harder, takes no break, and is only able to cut down 16 trees. And he's very wondering, his boss doesn't say anything, but he says, no, the next day I'm gonna work even harder. He shows up early, tries hard and tries hard and tries harder, and only chops down nine trees. And the boss says, hey, come with me. And his heart is pounding, he's very unsure. I don't know, he really needs that job. And the lumberjack directly says, hey, I'm sorry, I really give my everything. I don't know why I cannot cut down any more trees. And his boss asks him, how much time did you spend to sharpen your saw? And the story really stuck with me uh, of the importance to take rest. 
it's just the problem for me, even though I knew that story, is that I didn't think I deserved it yet. Um, because previously, everything was fine, but with YouTube, I I don't know. It's, it's difficult right now. I, I really care about helping, but each upload has less views, and I never really picked up a camera before 2022. I never edited. So there's so much new stuff for me, and I don't think I'm good enough yet to be allowed to take a break. Yeah, I was very t really... I was really too harsh on myself, believing I didn't need rest, even though I needed it more. But I did not only realize that I had to sharpen my saw, but also that it was time to deal with the stuff I'm struggling with. So I read a marketing book to find out who I even make those YouTube videos for. And because I was unclear about my goals and some other aspects, I journaled about it. But by far the most valuable thing was an exercise I discovered on the final day. And if you only take one thing from this video, I would like to encourage you to try it. But first I would like to show you how I spent the remaining days. Because I didn't only think about my struggles and my fears, I actually had a really good time. For instance, there were those horses. Oh look, it even comes to me! And I have this GoPro trick. Wait. Uh, Insta360. And I think you put it in the mouth. And then it looks like Oh. It's a bit nasty, but <laughs> maybe it looks cool or weird, whatever. And I don't know if it was because I was lonely, but there was this one horse, which out of sheer desperation I later called Frank, that was completely ignoring me. And I tried my best to really get his attention, which actually resulted in a short that ended with oh, a bit fighter, of drama. Nine. I also spent more time cooking, for instance poached eggs, which turned out surprisingly well, given that I never really made them. When I was reading, I was way more focused than typical. And I was also a bit scared sometimes, because my landlady told me about a horror movie that was filmed in this location. And only when checking out and watching the movie, cool the I realized it wasn't really a horror film, but more of a little drama. And it was actually really cool to see the shots. But like I mentioned, a lot of time I spent reading and journaling and reflecting about the stuff that was not going so well in my life. And even though this was difficult, this was one of the best things that I could have done to finally have a bit more clarity. But by far the best was an exercise from the book The 7 Habits of Highly Effective People. Here's what I did. I prepared four envelopes and the first hour I spent just thinking about the first envelope, which mentioned listen carefully. And I was sitting there, listening to the rain, and was just calming my mind. It took a while, but eventually I got there. After one hour, I opened the second envelope, which mentioned try reaching back, meaning to go back in the past. And I thought about my parents' meeting, I thought about my childhood, I thought about me worrying about being liked in school. And I somehow understood things in a different light. After another one and a half hours, I opened the third envelope, which mentioned examine your motives, meaning why do you do what you do? And after thinking about it for, again, around an hour, I really understood way better why I do all of this, why I started this YouTube channel and what my goals are. And after opening the fourth envelope, which mentioned write your worries in the sand, I realized I didn't have much to worry about anymore. So I went for one last walk, made my favorite dish for dinner, and by the time I was checking out the next morning, I didn't feel overwhelmed anymore, and I didn't feel lost. Woo! Sometimes all I think about is you.